number seven. Okay, now I am with the opponent of Ace Darling this afternoon, a man who hails from the Pacific Palisades, California. He's a tough wrestler known for his flying moves and his devious tactics. Dangerous Devin Storm. <laughs> Maccabee Mania. Hey, Starling, you're saying my head's getting a little big? <laughs> you're the better of the partners? I don't think so. Tonight, uh, I'm going to have to give you a little schooling in wrestling, baby. You think that would be good? Yeah. I, great I, idea, Tommy. Uh, great a, idea. Devin, great idea, idea. But I've seen Ace Strong in action. He's good. I know you're the You know what, Ace? A lot of people see out there, they've seen us wrestle each other, seen us wrestle in the tag. But you know what? I think we make better partners against each other than with each other. We dance a lot better against each other. And you know that, and I know that. And all these fans out there are going to see that, too. So, what? But the, there, there's one interesting dynamic that you brought up in this match. What is that? You guys know each other so well. Are you going to telegraph moves to each other to the point that you block before the person throws a full, throws a move? I mean, this this is a very different type of match. <laughs> hey, Starling, I told you everything you know. You won't admit that. You never admit that. You know, I know, you know, and the guy shooting his camera and all those people out there know that I was the man behind the team. Not you, uh, not any of your moves. It was all me, me all along, never you. So Dangerous Devin Storm sounds like he is absolutely ready to take on his former tag team partner, Ace Darling. Former, I gave him the boot, and anyway, tonight, you're going to get the beating of your life. <laughs> and we'll find out in just a few minutes. Unbelievable. Number six. Ladies and gentlemen, Keith Watkins. You know, buddy, I've never so happy in my life. This is my first time to wrestle in my own home state. And now PWs with action this. This is where all the talk of terrorists come here today. And that's why I'm here. And I'm here to stay and not to play. And buddy Lee, there's an old saying goes, to be the best, you got to beat the best. That's my intentions all the way. So all my challenges and all my opponents were one thing. Because I'm a small guy, doesn't mean anything. Because down might come a small package. And my fuse is about that short. And I got the fire. We'll be right back. Number five. I am no longer a boy. I am Jean-Paul Levesque, the greatest professional wrestler in the world today. Remember the name, Jean-Paul Levesque. Number four. Revolver! Look what you've done to me, pal! Take your safe look! It's just the beginning! I do beat the people of Washington! Start off! The people right here in Portland, son! Now I'm coming after you! With everything I got, and if there's anything left, if there's anything left, when I prove you, this man's gonna finish you off. And I don't think there's gonna be anything left. I'm gonna punch him up, man. Number three. Sounds like he's bragging. I like that part about taking it to the bank, though. And I'm telling you right now, shut your pie hole, or I'll shut it for you! And I have one request. Everywhere I've been appearing, all you ladies, you're throwing your panties at me. What? That's right. You're throwing your panties. All I want you to do is please, please oh. wash out the brown stain first. Oh, that's disgusting. Get a bar of soap, try using it, brush your teeth, and maybe, just maybe, the one-man gang will talk to you. Number two. That's right, Skid. Uh, same goes for here. I couldn't have a better man in my quarter. He's, uh, he's big, he's powerful. That's exactly what someone like me needs to compliment myself. Let me tell you, there's a few things I don't understand. And one of them's, well, Rip Oliver can bring someone in like Buddha Dean, a flag-waving, flag-waving commie foreigner, and have the belt. I, it doesn't make sense to me. Mike Miller, you're no better. You're supporting him. The only thing American about you is your name. And they make beer. Let me tell you, Miller, Buddha Dean, Rip Oliver, we've been beaten the pants off you all over the Pacific Northwest. Everywhere we go, we've been putting your shoulders down one, two, three. And when you do happen to maybe come out on a fall, it's from cheating. Well, let me tell you, whether it be Pendleton, Yakima, White Swan, Medford, Salem, right back in Eugene, and right here Saturday, we're going to get you. Number one.
score. Jeff Gaylord, you got Jeff Jarrett again. No count outs this time around. That's right. No count outs. I'll tell you what, I've never been more happier than my wrestling life than I am right now down downtown Bruno. Everything seems to be going my way. I've got a new partner. I'm not losing. I'm making money. I'm getting paid on time. It's going great, and it's going to go even better this time, Bruno, because I've got you and those two idiots for no count out. And I'll be ready. You will be ready. Bonus. Hey, man. Here's Alex Wright, the German. If you want to know what the Germans are about, pick me, and you're going to have a hell of a victory. I promise. <laughs>